With all the fashion seeds that get planted each year, how to know which ones will mushroom into full-blown global trends? It is a mysterious alchemy, but it does seem to depend quite a bit on the status of the designers championing the trend. Here with more is WSJ fashion columnist Christina Binkley. Hi, Christina. Thanks so much for being with us. Hello, Tanya. So, Christina, in the case of the mutton sleeve, tell us why we can make a pretty safe bet that we'll be seeing them, maybe even wearing them this fall. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's a shocking look, by the way. I kind of looked at it and said, oh, my God, really? Are we going there? I think we are, though. We are for sure. One major reason is because we saw them on Nicola Gasquer's runway for Louis Vuitton. And he didn't just dribble one in. He took his. He started at the 29th look, so at the end of his show. And then he just slammed it again and again and again in tops and in dresses and in jackets. Um, and cl his closing look, as a matter of fact, was a, a dress with a, a mutton sleeve. And it was a clearly Mr. Gasquer saying, this is something you guys got to think about. I've got to say, he manages to make it look good. So who are that handful of designers that seem to have the power to give a trend or a look that push to make it go global? That's a great question. And, you know, and right now, this is this is something that moves. Right now, Gasquer is probably the number one designer that's doing that. There have been other designers have had other other uh, pieces of that. Another one currently, by the way, is Phoebe Philo. If you have a pair of Birkenstocks in your closet that you bought in the last two years, that's because of her. And probably also your Nike Air um, shoes and, and hiking boots and any and all this whole trend of sort of comfy feet. It's come directly from Phoebe Philo's runway for Celine. But if you look at skinny men's suits. This is something that Eddie Slimane introduced 15 years ago and has really impacted the shape of, of the clothes that men wear. And what's so interesting is you've seen some examples, the Birkenstocks, for instance, of trends that made you, you know, laugh out loud when you first spotted them on the runway. Literally. I literally guffawed in the middle of the show when she put those on. It was, I think it was spring 2013. And they were Birkenstocks, but they had pink fur <clears throat> lining them. They looked gloriously comfortable. I'm, I'm sure I had painful shoes on at the moment. <laughs> but I never, ever thought that they would take off. <laughs> and yet they did. And I have to say, Christina, it can be a little confusing to fashion watchers on the outside like me, because sometimes these looks are actually sneered at by the editors right before they embrace them. That is, and isn't that a mystery? That is exactly right. I don't know if you've noticed um, in the last few years, people have been wearing very floppy black felt hats that came off of Eddie Slimane's runway for Saint Laurent. And I'll never forget leaving that fashion show. People were just cruel um, about how silly they thought it was. But literally within weeks, people were wearing those hats. Cruel as they were rushing out to be the first to buy them. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the fashion world. Christina, thank you so much for that.